Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to touch upon all of those dresses for spring summer season. I will be looking at Zara website and the goal of this video is to point out all of those dresses that you should avoid purchasing, but I also want to point out those dresses that are absolutely worth going after, therefore buying. So let's begin. First, I'm going to begin with avoid list. And here we have this, uh, as I called, experimental dress. So this dress has so many different details and so many different elements in it. So they call this dress balloon skirt jumpsuit mini dress. It's a sleeveless dress that also has uh, uh, this sort of a weird balloon skirt, yet it has a bow detail. It is also a jumpsuit, but yet again, it is also a dress. So my honest opinion is if you see some sort of experimental dress like this, uh, so many details in one, definitely avoid it, stay away from it. Next type of dress that you should avoid would be these sort of uh, cut out dresses. So here we have this uh, rib dress, it's a long midi dress uh, and it has this uh, uh, cut out, really huge cut out uh, and honestly what I believe is uh, these sort of dresses uh, can be fun if you want to experiment a little bit with your style but on the long run this is not something that you plan to keep in your wardrobe. Sooner or later you're gonna figure out the dress like this is definitely not functional. It has just too many details, too many cutouts, yet it's a ribbed dress. So I would definitely advise uh, you all to stay away from these dresses unless honestly it's totally fine to experiment a little bit or if you just want to go wild for a season, yeah, go ahead. But uh, if you are planning to purchase yourself something on a long run, this is a dress you definitely want to keep your hands away from. Then we have another experimental dress, as I would like to call them, and it is this uh, balloon halter dress. This dress comes in this really beautiful tone. I absolutely love this uh, beautiful creamy tone. But what I don't like is the design. It's uh, too balloony and honestly a dress like this is just gonna be like a, a one of those fun dresses that can be fun for one season but on a long run again uh, I don't see myself personally wearing these sort of dresses uh, and I don't see them practical on a long run again. So <laughs> I would definitely stay away from these balloon dresses even though they definitely do look cute uh, just uh, from seeing it in the picture like this but it definitely lacks the practicality from my point of view so yeah. Then we have a next dress. This is a washed rib jewel dress. On a first look, this dress looks totally fine. I love these bodycon dresses. Uh, I really love the length of this dress. So dress as it is looks all okay. But the detail that really catches the eye are all of these jewel details that are added all over the dress. So from my experience, all of these jewel details, when they're spurs all around the dress, what happens over the time that sooner or later they're gonna start dropping. Once that starts happening, I would never wear that piece again because then it just looks ruined and that is the reason why I avoid or stay away from these sort of pieces in general. Then we have this tidy gingham dress. So this is a mini dress that I would again categorize into that experimental category simply because it has too many contrasting details. So we have this front opening, it's a mini dress, a sort of a weird and unfinished this sleeves that I honestly don't understand and then the tight bow detail. So it's too many details for a mini dress which makes it belong again as I said to that experimental category. So that is why I would again advise you to stay away from these sort of pieces. Then over here we have this foil mini dress. On a first look this dress definitely looks cute but uh, there is something that I can't stand when it comes to this dress and that is this screaming foil material. If this dress was designed in any other material, such as satin, silk, it would definitely be okay. But this foil material is definitely uh, something that uh, is so loud, it screams for attention. And that is why I would definitely advise you to avoid these sort of materials as well. Then over here we have this maxi dress. On a first look, uh, it looks totally fine. It's a maxi dress, I really love the design. But what I don't like are these white horizontal stripes. Usually stripes like this tend to make us appear as we have few kilos extra. So for that reason I would advise you to 
all these cloth dresses that have vertical stripes and try to avoid those horizontal stripes. Unless you really love them, then of course it's up to you. But when it comes to me, I definitely stay away from these sort of stripes. Next, we have this mixed organza dress from Zara's limited edition. The price of this dress is 169 USD. For this price, honestly, you can get yourself much better dress than this one is. This dress is too complicated. It has the ruffle details, v neckline, uh, it has so many trims, and it's just so many complicated elements on this dress. It also has these metallic threads that are just uh, falling uh, loosely. So honestly, yeah, this dress is meant for those night out events. But what I prefer is that even my night out dresses are equally wearable even for every day if we just style them appropriately for every day. Well, these sort of dresses are just meant for night outs and you can barely um, wear this dress for every day. So for that reason, I would also stay away from this dress as well. Then we have this dress that on a first look, I didn't like for many reasons. So it's a little bold texture dress. Uh, it has um, uh, these uh, black uh, spaghetti straps, uh, black bow element. It has this elastic trimming or ruching around the waist, but I just don't like the design of this dress. And uh, uh, yeah, I would definitely advise you to stay away from these sort of dresses. It's like it's lacking a finishing touch or something. I don't even know to explain it, but honestly, I don't like this dress. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. Over here we have this uh, long floral knit dress. It's really beautiful dress on, on a first look, like it's a beautiful tone. But uh, I'm sure maybe you're aware that for this season we have uh, um, those big floral elements that are so trendy and I would definitely advise you to stay away from uh, those big floral elements. And this dress is a perfect example of how those trendy elements can ruin uh, a totally nice looking dress. So without those floral uh, rose elements, this dress would look absolutely beautiful. But simply because they wanted to attach those trendy elements, this dress became totally unwearable if you ask me. So I would again advise you to stay away from these loud trendy elements because they're just gonna be hot for one season while next season you will definitely try to avoid them or if anything you would go uh, to your tailor and ask her to take away these rose elements and just wear dress uh, as it should be honestly without these rose elements without them it will look totally fine but yet it has it so yeah avoid it over here we have this mixed tool dress again on the first look it looks absolutely fine i love this dress design is totally spot on but what i don't like are these transparent details so okay i can imagine someone wearing this dress uh, um, somewhere around the beach but i totally don't see myself or anyone else wearing this sort of dresses uh, while going to the bank or going to the university or anything similar simply because it's transparent and yeah it has the covered like let's say panty area but yet again everything is so transparent if for example the transparent detail isn't transparent the dress would look totally fine but simply because i Again, for this season, transparent elements are so trendy, they decided to go on with it for this dress and that is the reason why I would advise you to avoid it. Now let's move on to the what to buy category. Here we have this texture jacquard dress. It comes in this really beautiful and tender cream tone. It's really simple dress on the first look, yet it has a few simple style details. It has this uh, frayed edge across the waist and that's pretty much it. It has beautiful and elegant rounded neckline and this is the dress that you can wear for any spring summer occasion you can wear it with the slide downs with the sling bags or even ballet applied strainers anything this dress is just going to serve you for various occasions and you can style it in various ways as well what always adds the value to our wardrobe is a um, black dress in this case we have this um, mini black dress it's a really simple design yet it has one uh, simple element and that is it has a gathering on the side and that's pretty 
material. It's the simplest black dress design you can imagine, but yet I really love that fine gathered element that they added. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, I just love how they style this dress with the simple news and that's pretty much it. A dress like this, again, you can wear on repeat uh, and you can style it with so many different style combinations, which is a big plus. A big addition to our wardrobe would also be a nice satin black dress. Over here we have this midi satin dress that also has that gathering the details on the side of the waist. And that's pretty much it. Simple dress that you can wear for a night out. But yet again, I definitely see myself wearing these sort of dresses with trainers, with blazer. Uh, on top and that's pretty much it but again if you pair it with the beautiful strappy sandals it's definitely appropriate for a night out so this is definitely sort of a dress that uh, you should always look after next would be this uh, neat mini dress i really love this dress because uh, it just comes in this really beautiful creamy tone the material looks so expensive on a first to look honestly i love how it's styled here as well with the ballet flats also cream ballet flats but the detail that catches the I are all the embroidered pearly details that are trimmed onto the dress. So this is something that I would definitely pay attention to. It's a really tender, elegant and just effortless sort of a dress. I again love the round neck, it's sleeveless, really simple mini dress design that you can wear with so many different style combinations again and I'm going to keep on repeating because it's really important to me that the dress that I purchase I can wear with various uh, pieces that I have in my wardrobe. Over here we have this really beautiful white uh, satin effect slip-on dress with open back. Uh, so on Zara website I actually managed to find two dresses of this kind. One comes in this white tone and the other one comes in this really beautiful uh, green tone. These sort of dresses you can wear for summer on repeat. They're just so simple piece that you just uh, pop on yourself and you're ready. You can wear ballet flats, loafers, uh, trainers, whatever you prefer, but uh, these sort of dresses are definitely gonna last you for years. I honestly believe that each one of us should have a dress of this kind simply because this design is timeless. If you're looking in a dress to have something uh, outstanding, some stunning uh, element, something unique, then I would definitely advise you always to go after these asymmetrical dresses. But honestly, it's really rare to find that this good asymmetrical dress and for this season Zara brought us this really beautiful uh, linen asymmetrical dress in this uh, white tone that I believe is suited for spring summer season and uh, you can always wear a dress like this on repeat again you can wear it with the slide on with ballet flats or with trainers so even with the strappy sandals with whatever honestly dresses like this are always going to make you feel special in a way yet uh, elegant on this buy list I have to include one a-line silhouette mini dress honestly these sort of a-line mini dresses are definitely one of my favorite dresses and i love the simplicity of this dress as well i really love the floaty touch that it has on it but yet just how structured and elegant it is again sleeveless mini dress with the rounded neckline is just something that i always look in a dress and i believe again this is just a dress that is going to serve you from season to season, no matter what tone you go after when it comes to this dress, it can be cream, it can be white, it can be brown, black, gray, whatever tone, it is definitely going to serve you from season to season simply because this design is just so gorgeous. Then over here we have really interesting design, but nevertheless a design that has so much classiness in it. So it will be this uh, wrinkled dress that comes in this really beautiful uh, green tone. I don't even know what sort of a green this is, but uh, it's just stunning green. I really love how it's belted around the waist and just uh, this uh, wrinkled touch to this dress is giving it something so special. And yet uh, these sort of dresses, you can be sure they're going to serve you again on a long run they're just so beautiful this is a midi dress it also has an a shape it also has the pockets which is a big plus and yeah i just love the wrinkled details because you don't have to be worried about ironing your dress instead this dress is just you put it on and ready for the day on my to buy list i also have to include one simple plain knit mini dress i have similar dress to this one and i believe these sort of dresses can again 
DM service from season to season. I love to style these sort of dresses with trainers just to feel sporty for every day. And yeah, this dress is just beautiful with a beautiful rounded neckline. Again, sleeveless dress. Just it's su such a basic dress, but yet uh, so stunning, so simple, yet so classy. And finally, on the buy list, I added this striped midi shirt dress. I absolutely prefer these sort of dresses, these shirt dresses, because I find them so practical for many reasons. But what I absolutely prefer about this dress are the vertical stripes that make you always appear a little bit taller, a little bit thinner in comparison with white straps. I love this uh, tie belt detail. And what I absolutely adore about this dress is the slit hem. This dress is something that you can easily wear for every day, but yet again, you can make it appropriate easily for a night out events as well so that is the reason why I added it to my list as well as you may be noticed all of the dresses that I put on my buy list I like them to be functional so that I can style them with many various other pieces that I have in my wardrobe uh, and yeah honestly I believe none of these pieces would give you a headache while trying to style them together so yeah this will be everything that I prepared for you in today's video I will leave the links of all of these dresses down below in case you you're interested in the sum and I just want to point out that by adding those dresses on a not to buy list I my intention wasn't to offend anyone anyone's taste um, you can all wear whatever you prefer so yeah that is just my personal opinion when it comes to those dresses so yeah that will be it in today's video I really hope you enjoyed this one and yeah I will see you all in the next video until next time have a nice time and bye bye